Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, I'm going to share a quick tip for using the go to window to navigate to formula references. And this tip can save you a lot of time when working with formulas, especially if you're working with a workbook that someone else created. So in this example here, I have a VLOOKUP formula in this cell, and this works with any type of formula. It does not have to be a VLOOKUP. And as you can see here in our table array reference, we have a reference to this product list sheet uh, A2 to C18. Now, if I wanted to jump over to that sheet and look at that range and maybe cor uh, correct this formula, this formula has an error in it currently returning the wrong column. Uh, one quick way to do that is to use the go to window. The first thing we'll need to do is select this uh, reference here. We can select the entire reference with the mouse or another quick tip here is to use the screen tip right here and we can just click on the table array argument and that will select all of the text here. So no matter what you have selected within the formula, just select the table array argument or whichever argument you want to go to, select that first. Now we're going to open the go to window and that's on the home tab of the ribbon. Over here in the find and select dropdown, we have go to. Keyboard shortcut here is control G or F5. Control G or F5 will do this as well. If you're using a laptop keyboard, you might need to hold down the function key when you press F5. And once we have the go to window open, you can see right here, it's put the reference in from the formula. We did not need to copy and paste this since we had that reference selected. It's automatically inserted right here in the reference box. All we need to do is press OK, and that will take us over to the sheet and also select that range. So now we can see here we're returning column two in our formula. We're also in formula edit mode, so we can still see the formula in the formula bar, which is nice. And we need to return uh, column three instead for the category. Now, one little nuance here is that when we do this, uh, the reference, the absolute relative reference actually changes here to a relative reference. So this was an absolute reference with the dollar signs in front of the column uh, letters and row numbers. This changes here to a relative reference, which to me is kind of a bug that should be fixed. Uh, it shouldn't do that. But if you do want to make a change to the formula here, it's just good to know that. And you can hit the F4 key right here, of course, to uh, turn that back into an absolute reference. We also need to update that to make that column three and then we'll hit enter and that's going to return the correct result. And then of course we can also copy the formula down here. Just double click the fill handle to copy the formula down and now our formula is correct. Now this also works great if you're using Excel tables. On this sheet here I have a very similar table with a similar V lookup but I'm now using Excel tables, uh, both an Excel table here and an Excel table for my table array. As you can see here, the table name is referenced here. So you can use this technique on tables as well and I actually like it better for tables because when we're referencing tables, we have no idea what sheet this table is on. So this table named TBL reps, we don't know what sheet this is on. And if this is a workbook that somebody else created, we, it's gonna take us a while to find this. Of course, we can use the name box uh, to find that. So there's other ways to find that, the formula manager as well the name manager, I should say, uh, to find this table. But one quick way to do that while editing the formula, again, I'm going to click the table array uh, link here to highlight that text right there. This time I'll just hit F5 on the keyboard. That's going to open the go to menu. In the reference here, it converts the table reference, the table name reference to a range reference. So it does that conversion for us. That's why we see reps a2 to G9. So now we know what sheet uh, that table is on. We can see that right here. And if we want to jump over to that, we can just hit OK. And that'll take us over to the sheet. Again, we're in formula edit mode here, so we can see the marching ants around the range. We can update or change the formula if we'd like. If you just wanted to see it and you don't want to update it at this point, you can also hit the escape key. Uh, before I do that, I should also mention that when you're using Excel tables for your uh, formula references, we don't encounter that same nuance with having to change from an absolute or from a relative to an absolute reference. Uh, the formula reference doesn't change here. It's still uh, referencing the table name here. So we could go modify this formula. We don't have to worry about changing that to an absolute reference or anything like that. And then if we do modify the formula, hit enter afterwards. If you don't want to modify the formula, I'll go ahead and hit the escape key and that'll jump us back to the sheet that contains the formula. 
So that's a quick tip there using the go to menu to find a range very quickly. This will save you a lot of time when you're working with formulas. This is a tip from my Excel Pro Tips ebook. And if you'd like to uh, grab another nine tips out of that ebook, I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can download the ebook. So I hope this helps you. If you have any additional tips, questions, or suggestions, please leave a comment right below this video. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video.